welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a cook with me video and we are going to be making, what is the exact name of these? Giant crinkled chocolate chip cookies. It's an Ina Garten recipe and lately I've been doing a lot of Ina recipes on my TikTok but I figured it would be fun to do it on YouTube too. So because I made her brownies a couple days ago and oh my god they were so good. Um, here's my TikTok if you want to go look at it. Um, it's just at Beauty the Foodie. So today we're going to make these. This is what they're supposed to look like. We'll see how I do. <laughs> okay. So I have a lot of my ingredients prepped and a coffee because important. <clears throat> okay, so I need to preheat the oven. Let me do that. To 350, beautiful. Okay, the first step is to use my electric mixer. Paddle attachment. And if you see brownie on this from the other day, mind your business, I didn't clean it yet. <laughs> I honestly forgot and I was in a rush because we had people coming over. Okay. I need a half pound of butter, which I have right here, and it needs to be room temp, and it is. <laughs> it's so mushy. So in the bowl of that, beat the butter on medium speed for three minutes. Oh, I hate when there is a time. I have to set a timer. I'm not good at like, oh, some of the butter went on the... Get in there, butter. Okay. <laughs> okay butter is in the thing i hate butter wrappers like this they're so oily okay, okay. beauteous okay now i have to beat this for three minutes let me set a timer because i want to do this recipe to a t i don't want to mess anything up <laughs> so three minutes Okay, and what speed did she say? Medium speed. So that's probably what, like four, six, ugh, this dookie brownie on here is killing me. Okay, three minutes. Ugh. That's medium. Okay, start. You wanna see the goods, see the whipping? It's supposed to get, what did she say? What is it supposed to be? Until creamy. I mean, it looks pretty creamy to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then when that's done creaming, um, I need one and a half cups of regular sugar, which I have right here. And then I need a fourth of a cup of light brown sugar. Perfect. I have dark. It doesn't really matter, it just, it's how much molasses is in it, so. A little more, everyone will love it. It doesn't even matter. So let me open this. Okay, wait, flashback to me saying, I wanna get this recipe perfect, Nate. I don't have the right sugar. Cause I wanna do this recipe to a T. I don't wanna mess anything up. <laughs> love it. Okay, fourth of a cup, lightly packed. I'm gonna hold that over here until my butter is creamy. I mean, it looks pretty creamy. Oh good, the dogs are barking, that's exciting. Is this butter creamed yet? Okay, we have 56 seconds left. What else can I do in that time? Let's be efficient. Oven already is preheated. No, the next step is literally, oh, we can chop our chocolate. Well, that's gonna take longer than 50 seconds. So never mind. Coffee break. Come on, baby cream. I love butter. I wish it wasn't like so fattening. How much time is left? I have no patience. Okay. We're almost there. Come on, butter. You look really creamy to me. Okay, so do I leave this on while I? I don't think so. Add the, and beat, okay, so stop it. Okay, the timer just went off. What a low chime, I would've never heard that over the beating. Beat it, 
beat it, beat it. Okay, we're gonna add our sugar now. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Probably not. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add in the sugar. It's actually not as much sugar as I thought would go into these. When I was making her brownies the other day, obviously I didn't want to tell anyone who was enjoying them, like, and the brown sugar is going in, how much, like, butter was in there and sugar. It was, I think, a whole pound of butter and, like, two and a half cups or something of sugar. I was like, uh -huh. and then, like, 20 ounces of melted chocolate. But that's why they were so good. Okay, medium speed for this. Ooh, the brown sugar makes it look like ants in there. Hmm, maybe that's why she said <laughs> light brown sugar. Well, dark will have better flavor. It's more molasses, it'll be like richer. It's not getting the edges. Oh, that already looks like really good cookie dough. <laughs> Imagine if I tried this, it's literally just sugar and butter. And I'm like, I wanna try it. <laughs> down back to medium she said two to three minutes for this so okay then we have to add egg vanilla and two tablespoons of warm water two tablespoons of warm water what a, what an interesting thing okay let's do it all in here egg vanilla and two tablespoons of warm water let me get my egg okay she always says to crack it in something else so it doesn't like get shell in the bowl so that's what we're gonna do can you see me? No. Hmm. Okay, sorry. I'll bring you downtown for this. A little too downtown. Can you see? Maybe not. Perfect. Okay. There's the egg. And now I'll add my, how much vanilla did it say? One and a half teaspoons. Okay. I'm not using good vanilla, I know, I'm so sorry. I don't have, I ran out. <laughs> one. I have to order the one she used on And a half. I really have to order the vanilla she uses. I saw it on Amazon. I don't know where you buy it. Only William Sonoma has it in store. And I'm not going all the way to the mall for vanilla. I'd rather order it online and wait a couple days. That's definitely been two minutes. And that looks, wow, that looks creamy. Oh my god that looks really good it already looks like cookie dough okay so i have my egg vanilla and then i have to add warm water which is so interesting two tablespoons of warm water okay i hate when temperature of water is involved i feel like i always fuck it up but i have to scrape down the sides of that first with a big spatch that's a little spatch Oh my God, I forgot we have brown bits on the bottom of this oven. And it smells like it's burning. Oh! Well, what are we gonna do? Okay, warm water. Can you see me? No, how's that? Okay, here's one tablespoon of warm water. Two tablespoons of warm water. Okay, now. I think I scraped down the sides of this to make sure everything's in there. This is literally just butter and sugar. Why does it smell so good? Okay. Sides are scraped. Okay, low speed just to combine. Okay, let me lock this. Put it on more. That's low. My God. Okay. Now we're going to add our egg, vanilla, and water. Delish. Um, let's get the rest of that in here. Okay. This is how it's looking. Now what, Miss Ina? I would die to meet her. We all know this, why am I saying this? Okay. In a medium bowl whisk together. Okay, we're up to that step already. Wow, time is flying, huh? I have butter and sugar all over me. Whisk together the flour. 
baking soda and kosher salt. Okay, so I have two cups of all-purpose flour in here. And then I'm going to add how much baking soda? Half a teaspoon. Okay. Let's get that going. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Look at how precise that is, queen. And then one teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, let me get my kosher salt. Again, the precision. Oh, beautiful. Now I have to whisk that together and slowly add that to my butter mixture. The oven is preheated, that's good timing. Okay, I'm whisking so there's no lumps. Coffee break. I hope you can hear me over this. Is it really like loud, loud, loud? Okay, we're gonna slowly incorporate this. Can you see really? I don't know, sorry. I'm just gonna do a little at a time. Things are happening. Damn. Is there anything better than like making your own cookie dough? No, nothing. It's gonna smell so good. I guess I'll do it in like thirds, or maybe fourths, because I probably have. This is so exciting. Lately I've been really into baking. I think because I haven't done it in so long. It's such like a science. Mm. The measurements have to be like, it's just fun. More than I intended to put in. Ha ha. Well, it's all going in there eventually, so. Okay, then we're gonna have to chop my chocolate. Oh, we had Pillsbury just damped me back because I posted their, like, um, those sugar cookies with the pumpkins on them. I love them. And I tagged them. Pillsbury, don't be shy. Sponsor your girl. I spilled flour everywhere. I just realized. Okay, I think this is good. I'm gonna turn it off and then chop my chocolate to put in. I got the lint, 70%. She says bittersweet lint, but I couldn't find that. So I just got like, this is comparable to bittersweet. It's fine, it's fine. So we're gonna chop that up and then I can put it into the batter. She said eight ounces, but two of these is seven and then I might take a little extra from this one. So let's chop her up. My wrist hurts, I wonder what I did to myself. Is, se is she calls for eight, seven is not gonna be enough. Cause I know if I just do two bars and I don't bother opening the second one, I'm gonna be like, mm, could've used that other ounce. I'm gonna chop one at a time, cause they're kind of big and I didn't get out a good enough cutting board, obviously. Um, Oh, that's breaking up really easily. Why am I cutting it on a diagonal, you ask? I don't know, I thought it'd be more fun to have like shards of chocolate in the cookies than like little squares. My father is now here, if you hear him. He's just, you know, this is my life, people. It's not always a closed set, sometimes we have guests. So just chop up your chocolate. I know the oven's on. Hmm? I know because the oven's on. Yeah. Okay, so I have my eight ounces of chopped chocolate and I'm gonna put the mixer on low and add it in. Ready? She said to include the dust. Oh my god, it already looks amazing. <laughs> Said include the dust. So we're going to include the dust. Yum. Why do I feel like it needs more? Looks amazing. Let's take an Instagram story of this, shall we? The filter I was using. 
That looks well combined to me. Oh, look at this. Oh, it all just fell off the thing. I've never wanted to dig a spoon into something more, but I'm being civilized, so. <laughs> but at home, do it. <laughs> That looks so freaking good. Okay, what's next? Time to get some scooping done, I think. I think, it, okay. I'm a little nervous about this recipe because to get them like so crinkly, listen to what I have to do. First of all, I need an ice cream scooper to make 12 rounded scoops because they're apparently gonna be really big. Oh, I have to freeze the dough for exactly 15 minutes. I didn't know that. Oh <laughs> shit. Okay. Um, then arrange four balls of dough spaced wide apart okay so i can put the 12 balls on a small sheet freeze them and then arrange them okay then arrange four balls of dough spaced wide apart on each of three sheet pans girl we can fit more than four can't we these sheet pans are big i did see she made a note like if your oven only has two racks which mine does right now um or you only have two sheet pans bake these in two batches but don't freeze any batch of dough for more than 15 minutes Okay. <laughs> eh. Okay. Huh. Okay, this is work. Okay, let's... <laughs> First, let's freeze the dough. Bake for 10 minutes until the cookies are slightly puffed in the center. Remove the pans from the oven and bang them on the stove top until the center of the cookies deflate. Bake for three minutes and bang the pans again. Repeating and baking and banging for every three minutes. So every three minutes, I have to take it out, bang it on the counter <laughs> on the stove top yikes um yeah it's gonna be a fun video for us so let me start scooping and freezing the dough okay well i'm saying if you don't have that use a third of a cup measure which those are gonna be some giant ass cookies so let's scrape down my paddle thing first damn that dough looks amazing let me take one more picture of it <laughs> Why is cookie dough like so? Oh my god, are you kidding me? That looks amazing. It's these like chocolate chunks in it that's just giving me life. Okay. Scrape, scrape, scrape. She says you can use a third of a cup measure, so I'm just gonna use that, but I'm scraping down the paddle attachment. I'm trying to get all of it. It's difficult. This dough feels amazing. Okay, that's enough. Okay. This is a nice dough. Oh my god, those huge chunks of chocolate. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to take like... Right, so I'm going to do a third of a cup. And then I'm gonna round it into balls and put it on the thing and freeze it for 10 minutes. So we'll do the first one together. And then I'm just gonna do them all and come back after they've been frozen for 15 minutes. Cause then we'll start the banging <laughs> and the cooking. These are gonna be huge fucking cookies. Oh my God. So fun. Okay, so let's take this and roll it up in a ball. That's, yeah, it's gonna be a big fucking cookie. Okay, first one is done. I'm gonna do the other 12 and then I'll come back after they've been frozen for 15 minutes. So she said the recipe should make 12 giant cookies, but mine made 16. So I'm gonna have to figure out like how I wanna freeze them. I don't know how many I'm gonna be, be able to fit on two pans. She said four a pan, which if I have 16, that means I can do eight at a time and then I'll have to do two batches because I'll have two pans. We're going to freeze these for 15 minutes and I'm going to put them in the oven and start the bagging process. Okay, my dough has been frozen for 15 minutes. Now I'm going to put it on my trays. I need parchment paper. Didn't think about that. Luckily, I have some. Okay, I'm gonna do four on each, like Queen Ina said. I'm terrible at like placing cookies. 
Okay, I feel like what was the reason I just did this like this? I don't know. There's one. Okay, I'm gonna put them in for 10 minutes and then we're gonna start banging. Oh, 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 right, right. <laughs> Fine, then are they ready if you don't bang them? No, right? No. Still too dropping it. But... Wow. Okay, that was the first thing. See how they already started to crinkle? Flat now. Oh. Ooh, these are gonna be good. So nice three more Coca minutes. Cola. Nice Coca-Cola. You are disgusting. <laughs> I'm recording. Do you want to get in? No. Why? You look good. You're you're gonna try one, right? When they're done. When they cool off. Yeah. I don't like them all. You're a uh, a cookie aficionado. Yeah. You are. On the second bang now. I think I moved them around too much with the parchment. They look beautiful. Okay, third bang. This is gonna be the last one. I don't know, do you bang it when they're like done? Because this is the last three minutes they're going in for after this bang. Okay, you ready? <laughs> My dad probably wants to kill me hearing me do that. back up every time I take them out. I think on the last time I take them out of the oven, I'm just gonna bang them down and let them cool like that. Okay, they're done. Let's do like a baby bang. Actually, let's open my fleur de sel that I'm supposed to sprinkle on them first. This is like fancy salt. And I'm just gonna do a little because my dad will like have a panic attack and he was like, don't put it on mine, don't put it on mine. Like, bitch, it's all about the flavors, I have to. Okay. Ooh, Miss Ina. This looks great. I'll do a light bang, just a little. <laughs> okay, and I have to walk the dogs now, so I'm just going to sprinkle them with a little bit of salt. And let them cool and then once they're cool we'll do a taste test with my dad okay, it's time for the taste test should you get a plate or a napkin no okay i don't know oh they look so oh my god they're literally perfect oh my god i almost dropped it <laughs> okay try it let's get a good lighting there we go well let me cut it in half you can't rip it with your hand Oh. Or just break it, whatever. Oh. Was it good? Oh. Oh my god, it looks fabulous. You can tell it's fabulous by the feel. Yeah, the butter between your fingies. Drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That's what I could do. Good. What's good about it? Soft on the inside, crispy on the outside? Crinkle, baby. I think that's the best way now. A little soft, crunchy outside. Very chewy. That's good, you said you don't want them hard. No, I like them chewy. But they're thin. They're <laughs> thin mm -hmm. and chewy. Rich. Beautiful, right? Usually they have to be like thick like a brownie. So you love mm. it. Very good. New fave? New fave. There's a new cookie. New cookie. Okay, besties, thanks for watching. Comment down below what other recipes you want us to try. We See love you. you. I'm 300 pounds. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>